All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to King of the Hill. This is going to be round 34. I'm pretty damn impressed. We've managed to uh, get up to 34 and um, kind of exciting because, well, this is, uh, it's been an interesting Wednesday and uh, I'm not sure. We, we may have a short broadcast. Um, may, may only go for about two hours tonight. Maybe. It all kind of depends on whether or not I'm awake because uh, I'm exhausted. So it's all good, though. We are about to get King of the Hill underway. And for those that don't know what King of the Hill is, we'll talk about that in just a second. But I want to introduce my awesome staff. We have uh, quite a few people in the channel tonight. We've got, I know that we've got my wonderful co host, Jahar. How you doing, man? Uh, he's not in the channel. Oh, and he left. That bastard. He deserted us. Well, fine. Fuck him then. Uh, no. Um, actually, Slava, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm doing wonderful. I uh, just got back from school and actually uh, making uh, some food right now. I know that we've got Fear in the channel. How you doing, Fear? Doing pretty good. What's going on, guys? Well, about to see some awesome dueling action. We have the lovely Rotten Rose, although she may have gone away with Jahar, who knows. <laughs> and, uh, let's see, who else, who else do we have in here? Who am I forgetting? Uh, uh, King. King. King, all right. There we go, that's right, because we have King actually on vent, because he, he was able to uh, get his password reset. Good for him. Alrighty, how you doing, King? <laughs> doing well. <laughs> Let's take a look at this list. Right now we've got 12 people signed up and it's going to be growing. But I think we're going to do a little bit of a um, little switcheroo here because we probably want to move a few people up. Um, let's get Smeagol in first. Uh, we know that, that he's uh, kind of new to the game. We also have a newcomer here. we got a couple of newcomers. We're going to throw them in front as well. Uh, I like the idea of moving up this uh, in 77 unless somebody knows anything about him. Either of those guys. Do we, do we know a nerf? That sounds a little bit familiar. And we don't know Wissy Cakes. <laughs> Wissy Cakes the third Esquire. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> He's got to be pro, uh, dude. Yeah, got to be. All right. Yeah, but he definitely gets some props just for the name. Yeah, I I wonder that myself. If that's just an alias for another Woot, so it's all good. All right, so we do have a Smeagol on the server ready to go. Uh, I'd love to get these newcomers here. We've got IIN77. I was trying to get him on the server and this uh, Children Time. That'd be cool. And then, yeah, if we get Whiskey Cakes the third Esquire, that'd be nice, too. All right, all right. So, yeah. Oh, wow. He's saying he wants to be after Borgasm. So that's that's a little bit of... Uh, yeah, I, I, th I think he's trying to slap his e around in our faces a little bit here. So, all right. So, yeah, guys. Um, <laughs> got a duck under that thing. All right. So let's see if we can get these guys on the server. <laughs> Brick says, bro, I will pick up the Mega this time. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, guys. So it looks like we're going to start off with House of Decay. Yeah, sorry for, as always, the very beginning is always a little bit disjointed because we're trying to get a lot of things uh, sorted out. Um, for those that don't know, let's talk a little bit about what this event is. It's going to be community-driven 1v1. And this is a, a great... Uh, Great event that we've been doing, as, as we mentioned, this is the 34th round of it, but um, in between rounds we've done a lot of CTF uh, pickups and things like that. And so we, we try to do something every week that is geared towards the community. Um, you know, give people who may not be Rafa, DeHang, um, you know, EG, um, a little bit of the limelight here on Quake Live TV. So. Um, this is King of the Hill, and it's basically going to be the winner stays, the loser goes home, and uh, the, the challenger gets to pick the map. And um, basically you just keep running until uh, at the end of the night, the last man standing, is cr or woman, is crowned the king. So, um, should be really good times, and uh, what we try to do at the very beginning is we, we do have a sign-up list, and so there's an order uh, for all this stuff. 
but we do try to massage the list just a little bit in order to make sure that we get some pretty even matches at the start. So we're going to go ahead and there's the countdown. We're going to go live. And here we go. And we're going to watch NVR right off of the spawn. He goes straight for the Mega. Does not get it. So Smeagol's moving in. And uh, he's got to dodge some nades. Oh, he actually gets headed <laughs> with a nade. And that'll be another easy frag there. NVR. Oh, they're actually getting a little bit low. About down to 30 health, but he's able to pull out the frag against Smeagol. Now, Smeagol spawned on the rocket launcher side of the map. NVR should go through the teleporter. He could have caught Smeagol in the ass there, right? Instead, he walked straight into the rockets. And is just barely getting away with about 24 health. Let's go take a look at how Smeagol's doing. Not too much better, but it has a bit of armor. So, fear. Uh, interesting start at the beginning. Uh, kind of, uh, It's kind of dangerous, I would say, to go for that mega without any weapons. But uh, we've got a nice example of why. <laughs> yeah, he, he pulled it off pretty well. And there's no better way to start off a, a King of the Hill than with two direct nades to open up with the first frag. So, uh, NVR a little low here. I'm going to grab that YA and kind of go on the hunt. But Smeagol looking a lot better than he is right now with a 140, 70 stack. But he's looking like he's getting some lag here. Uh, I don't know if it's an FPS lag or uh, his ping spiking, but looks pretty stable as of now. But Mega coming yeah. up here in about seven seconds. Smeagol setting up for it. Let's see if NVR knows that it's going up too. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at, at Smeagol, because uh, he actually is able to drop in on that Mega, and he gets some pretty good rockets. He switches up to LG. That's actually a really good choice, as you're able to better chase around the corridor. Um, and so I just really want to point that out. Um, if you try to shoot rockets through that corridor, unless, like, basically, you don't have a good angle, um, because you pretty much have to fire it straight unless you're, like, you know, literally aiming for the wall, which is also an, an alternative. Ooh, nice LG coming out from NVR. It's going to rack up this frag. Three health for Smeagol. has got to watch his uh, teleporter play. Oh, and he does get cut down by that shaft. Down he goes. But, um, yeah, so that was a really nice uh, switch there by Smeagol. And, um, you know, I would say that... Uh, let's see, ooh, this is kind of an interesting thing here because NVR... Hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, Smeagol shows up right on time. Really punishes NVR. And he now he's down to 41 health. The 50 health will keep him alive as he backs in. But this is going to make the Mega Health fight a bit interesting because if Smeagol can get his hands on the armor, which is just directly across from him, oh, but he waits too long, he's going to die. All right, so there Smeagol could have been pretty much dead even with his opponent had he kept timing. Ooh, Smeagol's lagging like crazy. Oh, 180 ping. Yeah, there come those spikes again. Um, but had he kept timing on that center yellow, he would have been dead even in stack and probably could have won out the mega because he actually had a pretty decent position. So, NVR now up by two. We're about three minutes in. And Smeagol, we can hear him over at the grenade launcher side of the map. Let's go. He's actually coming through right as the plasma ends. And he does just lay down a rocket straight in front of NVR's feet. And, well, you know, Smeagol, actually, I have to say, his mega timing is not too bad. Oh, he's going to go in strong here. And he actually follows this up again. Great follow-up with the LG. He's going to finish it off and get the tying frag. Really nice play. I'm liking these weapon switches by Smeagol. And I would say that that is actually uh, an improvement from last week. Um, from what we saw, it just seems a lot more instinctive. He's just really thinking about the fight as he's saying, now this he should run away from. This is really dangerous. I know he wants the mega. I know he really wants it, but he should be thinking about um, stacking up. Now, see here, this is actually, hmm, yeah. I would say he could have just grabbed the armor and, and gone. Now he's going to die. He could have just grabbed the armor and backed off. And uh, it, it's kind of hard to, to, like, that's one of the hardest things to sort out is, um, you know, when do I not push for an item, right? NVR played that really well. Uh, he basically covered the entrance that Smeagol had to take in order to either punish NVR for getting Mega or even just trying to get in, in the room. So really nice play by NVR. And uh, he's basically taking control back. He's a little bit low, but not too bad. We've got Mega coming up in about three seconds. Yeah, Smeagol heard that uh, NVR was on the other side of that map. He was he was a little worried. He had one rocket left, two health, and uh, but he was able to pick up that mega, even though it just got burned off by uh, I think it was a bunch of LG from NVR. 